Hey, what's up guys? Another very brief and oh god, he's, you know, not gonna put out another video again, update video, and I am putting out a video, it's this one, but um, some stuff went on with some stuff, and we're gonna talk about that. Let's get into it, I'm very tired. So I had my two days off, and one of them ended up dealing with something else on a family basis, I'm not going over that, but um, the other one I did get some stuff done. I actually have a video that I recorded for next Tuesday. Yay, that doesn't help me right now because I didn't get a Funny Friday recorded, which I didn't get a Funny Friday recorded. Um, and so there's that, which sucks. And of course, because I'm dog sitting my lovely parents, German Shepherd. Um, yeah, I'm, I can't really come home in the evenings and record much other than this. But on top of that, I had two other things that sort of suck that happened. So there's sort of a good thing that's coming out of this and sort of a pain in the butt thing I have to deal with now. So the first thing, and I don't really want to throw anybody under the bus for this, but I'm going to still air my grievances. This camera, this is the Sony A6300, and uh, this has been my regular shooting camera. This has been the one that I do for photography, <clears throat> but it's also, right up on the top there, uh, 4K. 4k camera i shoot all my videos as many of them as i can unless there's something else in the way i shoot as many of my videos in 4k i know this video is noisy but it's 4k it's just i'm shooting it off my phone for <laughs> this reason this camera has had some sort of sensor issue where long recording sessions do well that and then it goes away so i don't know exactly what the problem is good thing i got a warranty an extended warranty on it which doesn't do me much good right now because when I took it in, um, I got the warranty and I had originally thought that they would do a replacement of an equivalent model, uh, which would either be like a direct replacement of this one because clearly that's not a def that's not a problem with the camera in terms of me running it or abusing it. It's a problem with the hardware. Something's defective. I'm gonna put this down now because that thing rattles. But it's a problem with the hardware. Obviously, you know, if the camera overheats, it's gonna shut the sensor down and protect itself. Like, it's not gonna run so hot that it's gonna kill itself. And I've had Sony cameras. I have a, an A6000 that I started with, and it never did that. It would get hot, and then it would shut itself down. And that only did it in 1080p, but still. But either way, it's a defect. I took it in, and the problem, I'm holding it again, so I'm just gonna hold this, but I brought it in, and I just wanted a replacement skew. They sent it out twice, and the first time they sent it out, they cleaned the sensor and reset it, and it did the exact same thing again. The second time I sent it out, a, I asked to be very specific. I said, hey, can you please tell them that it's a problem with the video recording? And, you know, at that point, I figured that would clear things up. They wouldn't just go, oh, well, the camera's fine. And, you know, I figured they would test the video. They didn't do anything. In fact, the, the way they wrote it, and I'm not throwing anybody under the bus here. I think that this is actually just kind of funny, even though it is frustrating. Um, what's funny is that they wrote, this is a camera, not a camcorder. Yeah, I mean, I kind of figured that, you know, the, the shutter button on top meant it's a camera, but I also kind of figured that printing 4K on the top and allowing you to turn off the recording limit would mean that, oh, I don't know, maybe they anticipate you recording video with it? It's just a thought. But yeah, so they didn't fix it, which sucks. I mean, I kind of find it funny considering the guy was very like, this is not a camcorder, it's a camera, whatever. You know, it, it's, you know, take everything with a grain of salt, I suppose. But now here's the thing. I can't use this camera for long recording sessions anymore. Like, I would use this thing for upwards of 20, 25, 30 minutes to record, and yeah, if it overheated, I would stop, take a break, get some water, let the camera cool down, and then start over again. And that's been what I've done with so many of my cameras in the past, including Sony's, so obviously this is defective. And it's not just 4K anymore, because my solution would have been, I'll just step it down from 4K to 1080p. It's starting to do it at about 20 minutes with 1080p, and it's down to like eight minutes with 4K, so that really sucks. So. This ties into something I'm gonna do, but the second thing is something that really pisses me off. So the second thing is I was on chat, and I know I'm gonna hear a lot of people going, oh, just buy a PC, blah, blah, blah. I was on chat with Apple's tech support today because the J key on my 2018 Retina MacBook Pro with the worst keyboard in the history of ever, the butterfly keys, the J key is finally failing. Now, if you guys have been following some of the stuff that I've done, the space bar failed previously. This was about two or three months ago. The space bar failed. And I got the entire keyboard replaced. And I even asked the technician, I'm like, will this happen again? 
And he very frankly said, it could happen again. We didn't change the mechanism, we just changed the keyboard, but it's still the same mechanism that is inherently flawed. It's what failed and we just replaced it and it's a new one. So two months later, my J key is failing. So I'm gonna be shipping my MacBook out and getting that repaired. And if it happens a third time, I know Apple's not watching, but if it happens a third time, I'm gonna I'm demand a new MacBook, period. Something without those trash keys. But either way, so I have two things breaking in my life right now. My MacBook, which fortunately is getting fixed and hopefully will stay fixed for at least another two to three months. And then my camera, which I can only really use for nice pretty B-roll footage and well, that's about it. So I'm actually gonna try something that I've never tried before and I'm gonna do this and see how many people who haven't watched this update video, which a lot of people won't, I wanna see how many people notice. I'm going to, for as long as it takes to get my camera and my MacBook all sorted and replaced and fixed or whatever the case may be, I'm gonna record my videos with my phone and with my uh, iPad. Well, not, I'm not gonna record it with the iPad, hold on. I'm going to be editing my videos on my iPad while recording them with my iPhone because I just got this, uh, this keyboard case, which I'll probably do a review of later to see how I like it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be editing all my videos off of this and recording them all with my phone until I can figure out how to fix or replace my camera. And actually, what's funny is it's probably going to take longer to replace my camera, so I'll really be putting my iPhone through its paces because um, the MacBook is probably only going to be out for a week. So I'll be editing on my MacBook for, or editing on my iPad, sorry, for a week. But the camera. I don't really know how long that's going to take, so I'm going to have to sort of reevaluate how I do my how I do my videos um, with the video. But we'll figure that out um, either way. Yeah. So yeah, this is a roundabout long way of saying I dealt with a bunch of crap today, so there's no video except for this today, and expect the quality maybe to go up, maybe to go down, maybe to not even be noticeably different. I actually don't know because I've never done any prolonged video work with my iPhone. I've been really impressed with the results from the main camera. Um, so for all I know, I may actually end up having a surprisingly good experience, um, but I don't know. And I'll leave that up to you guys and uh, don't just hate it because it's Apple. Let me know um, because at this point I'm trying to make the best of a bad situation. And um, ideally if I can actually make a bad situation good, well, I mean, now I've been able to make good videos with tools I wasn't expecting to, and we'll see. Either way, I'm rambling at this point. No videos today. We're going to work on getting some stuff properly done uh, within the next week. I'm off Sunday and Monday, which is a weird time to be off, but that means that I can get the entire week's worth of videos recorded in two days. Yes, I love when I can do that. So keep that in mind. No, don't keep that in mind. Just keep an eye out. Subscribe if you haven't already, though nobody who isn't subscribed watches my update videos. 70% uh, of the people who watch this video, these videos aren't subscribed. So if you're not subscribed and you are watching, please do. Uh, and otherwise, uh, everybody else, thanks for watching. Uh, wish me luck while I deal with this crap and while I go get my stupid, stupid keyboard. Love the Mac. Stupid keyboard replaced. So uh, yeah, wish me luck on that. Either way, guys, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Oh yeah, and my exhaust system fell off my car. So um, it sounds like this now.